So welcome back to the channel folks, a new tutorial today for the Resident Evil 2 GOG official release and today I'm going to show you how to install it on your Steam Deck. It should take you no longer than 5-6 to six minutes, let's do this. Okay folks, before I get stuck into the tutorial, just for clarity here, I have my Steam Deck connected to my laptop dock and that laptop dock is connected to my capture card. And I also have a keyboard and mouse connected to my laptop dock as well for the ease of showcasing this tutorial. So let's kick off. What we want to do first is we want to actually go to Steam menu. So when you have your Steam Deck powered on, we're going to go to power and we're going to go switch to desktop. So once you're in desktop mode, what you want to do is you're going to open a browser and you're going to go ahead and log into GOG.com. And then I'm going to go to my games and you're going to go down to Resident Evil 2. And what you want to do is you want to download these two offline backup game installers. So the one that's sized one megabyte and 0 0.9 gigabyte. Go ahead and download those. And you can close out that once they're downloaded. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to the application launcher. And we're going to find the Discover Center. You can get it here under Software Center. Or you can use this icon here either. And next what you want to do is you're going to search a program called Lutris. You're going to hit enter. Now I already have it installed. But... If you don't have it installed, click add or install. Once that's installed, double click and we're going to go launch. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to center this here. We're going to hit the plus button. I'm going to go add game, install a Windows game from an executable. Let's give it a name. We're going to call it re 2 gog and we're going to hit install. Then hit install again. And if you want, you can create a Steam shortcut that will allow you to launch in game mode. I will show you that shortly. Or you can use a desktop shortcut if you wish. I'm just going to create a Steam shortcut. Go and hit continue again. And now you're going to get to a, a page that will say select the setup file. So we're going to go and find those downloaded files that we got. So go to your downloads. And what you want to do is you want to select the setup Resident Evil 2 EXE. And then again, go ahead and then click install. Uh, it will create start creating a wine configuration for the installation itself. Let that happen. Once that happens, you'll see a console in the background. Don't close that, but you're working from the uh, GOG installation. So keep the defaults. Hit OK on English. Said yes, I have read and accept ELU. That's fine. You can go ahead and install on the default directory. Let the game install. But once that's installed, you can actually go ahead and launch it because what we want to do first is we want to open up the launch page. Now, we're not actually going to launch the game yet because we need to make some additional changes. But what first thing we're going to do is we're going to set some video settings So go into the video settings. Now, important point here, if you want the FMV sequences to reach full screen, you're going to have to use 640 by 480 for it to scale correctly. Now, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually going to pick a higher resolution because I actually want to show a higher resolution. Um, in game itself so I don't really care about the FMVs I've seen them a bazillion times anyway what will happen is if I select this resolution the FMV sequences will be kind of in a small little box on the left of the screen but just to be clear if you want them full screen you need to use 640 by 480 but for this I'm going to pick 1280 by 800 resolution which is the, the default resolution of the Steam Deck itself I'm going to do a full screen presentation Aspect ratio correction, I'm going to leave as default. Scaling metal will be also default. V-Sync, you can enable or disable this. I'm going to disable it. And I'm going to turn up the anastropic filtering and the anti-aliasing to the highest, highest. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit exit. Now don't launch the game. I'm going to have to hit exit here again. And allow this prompt to come up. It's going to say installing RE2 GOG installation completed. We can hit close. Now we need to make some additional changes here as well. So you'll have a new entry here in Lutris called RE2GOG. What we want to do is we want to right click that and we're going to go to configure. And we need to make an additional change here as well. If you go to the runner options, make sure that your Wine version is Wine GE 826X8664, which is the default one. If you want to run this game in gaming mode, most importantly. And the other aspect that you need to make sure you flag is you need to turn on enable DG Voodoo 2. So enable this and use the Wine version as follows if you want to play in gaming mode on your Steam Deck, most importantly in handheld. What you can do then is you can save those settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out a Lutris. And for the purpose of this demonstration, now I'm going to return to gaming mode. So once you're back in gaming mode, you should see in recent games, there should be a new entry. But if you just in case you don't see that, what you want to do is you want to go to library. And under non-Steam Games tab, 
you should have a new entry, as I mentioned, called re 2 gog So you can click that and go ahead and hit play. And if all works successfully up to this point, now you will see it in full screen and you will see the launcher again. You can, I'm going to pick the Leon campaign here for the purpose of the demo. And lo and behold, we have Resident Evil 2 launching. And as you can see, as I explained, I set the resolution to the max resolution of the Steam Deck. And as you can see, it's actually narrowed down that um, it's narrowed down that FMV sequence, as I mentioned. But just to be clear, just to repeat again, if you want that full screen, you will need to select 640 by 480 resolution. Anyway, let's skip on quickly. And I'm going to just do an initial test. Let's go to original, normal. And we're going to skip the intro sequence here. And let's get straight into it. And there we are. We're playing Resident Evil 2 on our Steam Deck, the GOG official version. No kind of source next work around here at this stage. So hopefully, folks, have found this guide somewhat helpful. Let's go in here and watch this dude get smashed. Kendo is just going to get smashed by about seven or eight zombies, as you know. Well, I think three or four, if I can remember. I'm a human. What I like about this is actually in, in this version as well, you can skip the door sequences as well. So for any speedrunners, that's brilliant. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. There's another point to note here is that the Steam Deck uh, or the actual game uh, release is locked at 30 FPS. Uh, so there is a cap, even though I have the frame limit unlocked. What I do is I just turn up the performance overlay a little bit for folks so that they can see the full performance overlay of the game. But yeah, it seems to be locked at 30 FPS, which is totally fine. Let's grab the ammo here. We get into a little bit of action actually before we finish up this video. And here we go, smash through the window. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Poor old Kendo. He's getting munched. And uh, put some rounds into these freaks. I'm uh, gonna reload. Oh, you fucker. Get down. I do like the color scheme in this. I think it's the darks are nice. The brightness levels are good. But anyway, folks, yeah, that's been another Steam Deck tutorial for folks uh, with the newly released GOG version of Resident Evil 2 official. Hopefully this has helped folks and uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work by liking, subscribing and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.